he goes straight into the yard and without sits asking. without asking his permission absolutely and okay. sits on the bed right and the boatmen tell them that look this is this is a yacht or a boat belongs to heer uh -huh. and and she will not like it mm. and if she knows she will be very very harsh with you mm. uh, but he doesn't listen mm -hmm. and then someone tells uh, heer uh, he, that okay there is some guy some rugged guy you know he has rugged clothes and all this and he has taken over your boat okay. and your bedding so she comes in all her fury absolutely to, with a stick know, in his hands to confront him and say you know you go who out. do you think you are absolutely okay. she comes in and she has a stick in his hands and um, as it is depicted she you know starts beating the boatman as well why you did why did you allow how, you how dare this guy get into the boat and when she comes in uh, and she looks at ranja and ranja is sitting on the bed and in the first contact you know the love scene is set and it's love at first sight absolutely and and the way varis <laughs> and this is the beauty you were saying why varis shah popularized here yes just look at this line means mm. this is the first interaction between two souls okay and here is the line ranje uth ke aakhya vasajan heer has ke the mehrban hui ah means ranja rose from the bed and he said oh my darling hmm and he was he was all at peace and that's he it was, he was she was smitten absolutely that's right. it she was bitten in a sense it's <laughs> that's and it's that's that's where the scene is set so this 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 lines tell you such economy of words and such you know in depth absolutely uh, so. of of a portrayal of what they both felt because they were soulmates yeah, absolutely so when they saw each other they just knew yeah. that so 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 that is and that is where then they plan know what to do hmm Because okay now that's where it gets interesting uh, absolutely that's where it gets interesting because they say he says i have nothing i have left he tells him all mm. all all about uh, uh all about his his right. his previous uh, uh situation so 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 this is uh, you know like we have the english poets who are, who are also you know very keats was very very you know obsessed with yeah. beauty and uh, many other poets we can name that are very obsessed with beauty this is also hmm. is heavily revolving around physical beauty isn't it uh, well it it is i think uh, and it that's that's part of our all kissas mm. means the way varish shah has depicted how important is it for a for a, a main character uh, to be beautiful, to be beautiful. To be pretty. <laughs> i i think it's it's very important <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 absolutely important uh, i think you know as they say the beauty lies in the eyes of eyes the beholder so uh, it means it's uh, uh, the way the way he has and this is the beauty of the kissas as well the way they have beautified these character is not only about the physical beauty mm. it's about their soul the as strength well. of their character as yes, well absolutely. their rebellion and you know to have their own way mm. and uh, you know so they're very opinionated characters mm. in all our kissas uh, and, and the physical beauty the way varis shah has depicted if people have read mirza sahib written by hafiz bar khurdar you will see even some of the lines are almost the same and the way he has characterized mm. uh, saiba's beauty mm. it is the same way his beauty has been characterized mm. by uh, so so you can that, that is how it has been coming in, even in a tradition as well this, mm. the setting of the scene mm. you know the way you set it uh, with the physical beauty but it's not only restricted to the physical beauty of course it is the it is the whole character and the strength of the character right. which makes those characters you know who lead uh, you know this kiss uh, And yep. as you know you said that um Varish Shah is uh, the uh, poet of Punjab yep. the way he was able to leave those lines uh, immortalize them yep. that people can use them when they're talking about him Absolutely. they they can remember them they can relate to them there are so many of them that, Absolutely that, that means one of and, and this this is the interesting means one of the line i was just reading uh, when 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 he's he's going to leave his place uh, mm -hmm. and his his bhabis or his his son in law his his uh, sister in laws uh, they try to stop him uh -huh. and and they tell him bakhsh e guna tu bhabiyan nu kaun jamya jo gunagar nahi now this line you know means please forgive us yeah. is there any soul who is born who has, who has not, not committed sin. any sin or yeah. who, has, who has not sinned or who has not faulted yes. so this line and ask any punjabi and you will know kaun jamea jo gunagar nahi is mm. become an idiom mm. a proverb in our old society and danja uh, akh da e jahan sufna mar jamna hai matwali nahi 
सो राजा से इज दिस वर्ल्ड इज लाइक अ ड्रीम यू नो एवरी वन हैज़ टू डाई वन डे सो मर जाना है मत वाली नहीं इज़ वन ऑफ द लाइन स्टिल यूज बाय द लवर्स यू नो मीन्स यू नो वैन यू आर प्लीडिंग यूर ओन केस सो दो लाइन्स है ब्यूटी ऑफ द क्लासिक्स दैट्स वाई दे आर क्लासिक्स दे बिकम पार्ट एंड beauty of punjabi classics is that it evolved from its folklore mm-hmm. now here is written in in 16th century mm-hmm. uh, uh, if, if we say that by the mudir and then shah husain came in and then bhai gurdas the singh the sikh guru came in and he narrates here as well mm-hmm. he hasn't written a kissa or an epic on here but he has uh, composed here as a character in few of his varan or few of his lines so there is a hindu poet who has written a whole kissa on on here here ranja then there is a sikh guru who is quoting here in his in his poetry Such then you have the muslim absolutely and then you have the muslim mm. uh, you know who has popularized it all over so you can see these characters mm. are symbols of the whole whole punjabi identity in a sense and this these epics and kissas you know uh, are are not uh, are not just kissas they mm. they depict you what this whole um, all inclusive society is all about because this is what connects all punjabis together wherever they are right so 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 that that's that's the beauty of uh, so these are the lines which were which were which were all popularized jada like for for another line jada ashkan which mashhoor ranja hmm. so when he is trying to tell what is ranja so he said jada ashkan which mashhoor ranja okay. no ranja is a, is a caste they are uh-huh. juts uh-huh. no no one knows them that they are the juts like gomans or vadais or whatever uh-huh. Huh. So they only only know them Ranja is a lover. So okay. whoever you have to call them you say oh you are a Ranja. Okay. So, and that is how he has made it Absolutely. made it to that level. Okay. So now we move on they have their first encounter yeah. and now Ranja has to earn a living. Yes. And he has to have something to do. Absolutely. So what better way than to ask his father <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for him to herd the cattle there? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Yeah. Uh, uh yeah, Bef- before we go there because that that's very interesting and when we are mm. going about talking about the all inclusive Punjabi pre-colonial society, mm. I think it's very interesting to quote a couple of more lines. Mm-hmm. When first after they have the first intact and the love in first sight. Mm. Then there's another line he asks Ranja, who are you? Mm. So those oh, are yes. beautiful lines. Oh, they, yes, right. they tell you how identity was established right. in pre-colonial Punjab. Absolutely. Because he was written in 1766 the mm. Heer Waris Shah. She asks, "Kaun vatan te naam ki saiyan da ate zaat da ki sadamna hai?" Mm. She asks, "Who are you? From kaun vatan? From where you belong? What mm. is your birthplace? Who is your father or who are your relatives? And what is your caste?" Mm. And Ranja responds, "Putr takht hazare de chaudri da, Ranja zaat da, jatt asil hai ji. I am son of of takht hazare de chaudri, maujoo chaudri." Ranja is my caste and I am a jat. Mm. So nowhere here you will find anything related to religion. Mm. She doesn't ask him who mm. are you are a Sikh mm. or you are a Muslim or who are you. Mm. So it's the only thing which connects them and the way she, they are establishing it mm. is through its birthplace, to mm. his vatan. Mm. Because vatan is the birthplace. Exactly. And then it's narrating it from his caste. Mm. Because caste is in the pre-colonial Punjab is a thing. Mm. And and that is narrated by Waris Shah as well mm. because when he was able to convince his father to marry me to the ranjas and he is trying to plead his her case mm. his father says that these uh, ranjas they are not the, the they are juts but they not on the level where sayals are yeah right okay so these khedas are on our level so uh-huh. i will wed you to those level uh-huh. so even among the jatti are among the same caste they have these categorization who is a who is a bigger they had the caste. compatibility as absolutely. well at that time absolutely. equals and yep. everything so so th- that is how the pre colonial punjab was was right. established mm. uh, and but and this is again you know the, the whole the way varis shah takes over everything no after establishing all this caste kind of a system mm. he just in in next 20 lines he just even demolishes that as well mm. and he comes into an all without uh, levels everything and he says रांझा आखता ख्याल न पाओ मेरे सब शी फकीर द देश के आ रांझा टेल्स ही रो के लुक डोंट फॉल इन लव विद मी आई एम अ फकीर आई हैव नो कंट्री ओके आई हैव नो प्लेस लाइक अ स्नेक एंड लाइक अ लायन यू नो आई हैव नो प्लेस सब शी फकीर द देश के आ वतन दमा दे नाल ते जात जोगी सानू साक कबीलड़ा खेश के आई एम अ जोगी आई एम अ फकीर आई हैव नो रिलेटिव्स आई हैव आई हैव नो रिलेशनशिप्स i have no tribe so okay. i am just a human being 
So right. after establishing all that caste system and that mm. jati kind of a, mm. uh, 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 categorization, mm. then Waris Shah, Humanized in the voice of it. the yogi, just Completely just demolishes it. it. Yeah. Just demolishes it. Mm. So that that's the beauty of of Waris Shah's Waris Shah's poetry. No, uh, no doubt, he was a genius. Yeah, absolutely, a literary genius who was able to uh, create something that, of course as you said, in today's time as well, is timeless. People know him, uh, know here from yeah. Varisha. Exactly. Okay, so now um, we have Ranja who is, you know, he was very, he was quite self-indulgent and looking after himself and everything. And he was his, he, he you know, knew how to make him, himself his own priority. And here he has come, he's left everything behind and he's fallen instantly in love. Yeah. So we are shown by Varish Shah how powerful love is, yeah. how it can bring you to your knees, yeah. how it can obliterate ego. And the further sort of, you know, him succumbing to the obliteration of his ego is when he starts to work as a, as, as a cohort. Exactly. Absolutely. So yeah, I mean, he plans it and then he goes mm -hmm. to his father and then, you know, she narrates to him that he is a chat mm. and he is from our own tribe. So she plays that card as well. Okay. So, and, and because these are, we have a big cow, big herd, so mm. we can, we appoint him as a cow herd and mm. he can take care of our mm. cows and our buffaloes and, mm. and, and she brings Ranja with, with, uh, with, with her mm. uh, and her father, uh, who is, uh, who is the Sardar of the tribe, he agrees. Right. And, and Ranja, you know, to his uh, credit, he agrees too. Right. So Of course. <laughs> <laughs> because he has never worked. Give him that credit. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So and, and so he starts. Uh, you know, he starts. He starts as their cohort. So and that's where the story uh, evolves. And and the role of his flute. Yes, because that is that is where and and that's again a beauty because there there is a genre called dhola in Punjabi, mm -hmm. and in dhola there are dholas in love of cattle and cows and and bulls. Mm. So P Punjabis have a tradition of uh, means the cattle is is considered the herd is considered to them as members of their families uh -huh. so they are in praise and in their beauty you know there are some dholas written in beauty of the buffaloes okay you know the eyes of the buffalo because that's the, their sustenance absolutely so they are part of their family as uh -huh. so that is that is where ranja comes in as okay. and then when he plays flute he becomes a very mastered and expert cowherd. Mm. So, Manguchar and Nabaj Ranjan, there's a line like this ad well, that when he was he was wed and he he, he left mm. the job of a cowherd, mm. then the then the buffaloes were not grazing. And then it? his father was very worried. Absolutely. About that, you know, what would what that would happen not, then? Absolutely. Yeah. So so that that kind of he builds that relationship mm. uh, with that with that with that herd and with his flute because he plays the music and they keep on doing their okay. stuff by themselves right. so uh, and that is where it started and then comes our our favorite cat do into it right right tell us a bit about uh yeah. The next means, character. because now then she goes and they're they're meeting in the fields and she's bringing stuff to uh, to him and they are talking and uh, doing all the things which Boris may not have narrated. So uh, they have a relationship now. Hmm. And then as the village society is, the things start bubbling up. Of course. And people came to know. They okay, start this, to talk. Absolutely. This her is, father gets, her family gets to know about absolutely. it. Absolutely. And then Kadu, she, the, the guy the guy who is, who is a limb in his leg. Hmm. So he he came to know about it as hmm. well. And he becomes the custodian of the pride of the Seals, of the tribe. And he goes to, to, to Chuchik, the, the, the father of Eid and tells, tells him what is happening. What is Varisha's depiction of Kadu? Yeah, he's, a, he's, 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 very, he's very cruel about him. He's chuchuk and he's, he's um, and sorry, about Kadu, he talks about his ling and mm. he, he, he makes him a villain, you know, mm. in, his, in his own depiction mm. as well. Uh, and, and when he, t he goes and tells his, uh, uh, his uh, chuchuk about Heed, mm. uh, and the friends of he came to know about it. Mm. Then they plan to beat him up. Mm -hmm. So they plan a beat beat up plan mm -hmm. to to Kadu. When Kadu is coming, because they, they, he then gathers the whole tribe and then he tells, okay, this is what is happening. It's our pride which is being compromised and all okay. this and that. Yeah. So then the the friends of he and he plans that okay, now catch catch him up and beat him up. So they beat him up. Mm -hmm. And when they beat him up, there is a very interesting line. I don't remember the complete line. And when they beat him up, they say, Milinya hirnu, lagnya hirnu milan vadhaiyani. 
means the way when they have beaten it up then they congratulate hero well done <laughs> you have done a wonderful job so so depiction of kadu is uh, even his physical I means there you can again you know because mm. uh, as as a, as a humanist maybe you know he should not have gone into that detail right. but he's very he's very specific about his okay. characterization right. and the way you know even his physical uh, uh, limitation has been called in by varish shah exactly uh, to depict him so at that time you know Varish Shah was uh, he was he was creating a masterpiece yeah. and uh, the vocabulary the treatment of the language yeah. his writing style the way he was able to depict the culture the characterization of um, all the uh, characters in his story so then we come across of course and the element of honor which is something that is so deeply entwined in in our culture yeah. uh, you know whether whatever uh, caste you belong to it's something that is deeply entwined deeply confused and often exploited uh, resulting in tragic uh, ends Absolutely. so then we come to the t another turning point of the story where she's forcibly married yeah and that also is an eye wash yeah. because um when she is being uh, when the nikah is being read and the marriage ceremony takes place she does not agree to it that's correct so, yeah, yeah yeah so it means this is this is what and and that encyclopedic uh observation is so correct about varish shah mm. and because now you're talking about the marriage of he that is where his the essence of his knowledge mm. of the punjabi land and foods and traditions comes into play in varish shah as well mm. uh, so uh, so at uh, uh, what what you have depicted is correct i mean that is how it has been narrated mm. by varish shah as well that he was forcibly married mm. and and kadu was a player in it mm. uh, when he goes as a witness to the signature of uh, her agreement to marry uh, sadu khela so it was a forced marriage uh, 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 and uh, the during that marriage because varish shah being a poet then he uses all his knowledge and travel of the punjab to depict everything which he sees in punjab so mm. all those traditions of singing and dancing and which kind of foods are being made up and you know like mushki chawal and basmati musafri rice and uh, uh, safed kashmiri kabul khursh means the eatability is which comes from kashmir and everything right. so then that encyclopedic play has comes into play as well as the marriage is progressing the marriage festivities are progressing mm. so uh, uh, that is the beauty of varish shah again because he he depicts all those traditions which are gone now yeah. so if you have to find what were the wedding traditions and what you know kind of a dialogues were exchanged between the parties of the bride and the bridegroom mm. and which kind of foods were available at that time mm. you can find all those from from varish shah exactly like you're saying it's a cultural encyclopedia encyclopedia absolutely of life so, in punjab at that yeah, time yeah so then he gets gets married about all those festivities and mm. everything and she goes uh goes uh, to uh, to sadpur ke yeah, absolutely yeah. absolutely Run and she it. does not recognize the marriage yes she does not recognize the in-laws she does not yeah. recognize this new phase of her life yeah which at that time uh you know varisha is sort of creating yeah uh, a rebellious female of that uh, of that era absolutely. of that time absolutely uh, that that was quite an empowering role 